Hey guys, what's up? Zach here. We are back with some more MotoGP 2014, and today we are in Argentina for the next round of the season. Let's get into this straight away. Uh, we've had a ninth and a tenth place finish so far this season. Obviously, the last episode not exactly going to plan, but we're really just hoping to get up there a bit this time in Argentina. I think a track I didn't do too badly on in Moto3, so let's just hope we have a good race. So here we are. Yeah, a decent start, nothing incredible, but we should be able to gain a couple of positions into turn one. Sahar, Sim Simon, 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 is it Simon, Simon? I don't know whether it's said with a, I guess a French accent. Oh, that's a bit too aggressive into turn one, but Nakagami gets disposed of. I need to bring that, I need to bring that phrase back. He's been disposed of. Right now, the big long straight where I've got to really just do nothing, really. Just got to go in a straight line. Getting the slip screen. So long. Oh, I braked a bit late there. Am I going to have to get it turned into the corner? A little bit of rear brake locking. Managing to get the power down and back away at the corner. Calio in front. So the best result so far of our two races is ninth. So we can see if we can beat that today. Argentina's a bit of a weird track, so let's see what we can do. No, no, no! A bit too aggressive there. Oh my god! Is that my? That's my teammate, Simeon. Whew, that was a massive crash. Smart VDS boy behind me, I can't tell. Wow, okay, it's one crash and I put the way back down here again. I don't know whether it's really supposed to be realistic, but it's just supposed to be fun this game. Um, it takes quite a long time to get back on the bike and everything, so I think honestly that should be something I need to upgrade just the option so you can get back on the bike really fast because obviously they need to punish mistakes but it's not fun having to wait like five seconds but I don't know I suppose they've got to punish you somehow so maybe it's right but geez, it's still a bit annoying I'm just gonna go one position worse every single race if we finish 11th that's what will be happening finish 9th in the first race 10th in the second hopefully we won't finish 11th we don't want to just keep getting worse uh, but I think Calix are leading the, the championship constructors so that's good Johan Zarco there with the Caterham bike. Oh, for God's sake. Look, I had the move done there. Yeah, I was going in a little bit deep, but he should have just left me a bit of space there. And I've got to do all that work all over again. Just need to be not so aggressive with the overtakes. I might be able to get through with these races without so many crashes. But I think it's just because I've had that aggressive style of uh, riding the bike on game and it's hard to get around that especially on a more powerful bike and more susceptible to sort of the mistakes so I've on that catering bike I wonder if they're going to be in the sport next year Tony Fernandez obviously selling his F1 team catering so I wonder if the catering or Air Asia or whatever it's called um, motorbike team will continue so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna call him Simon Luti with the track record uh, we're not gonna break it we're very close with a 46 and across the line me and Simon uh, dead equal Calio with the lap record there we're about two seconds off that I think so this can be it the last lap can we get the lap record can we have a decent finish here so that'd be eighth seventh sixth place we can get here which would be very good i really just the top five in the championship is what i'm aiming for because i'm hoping to hope to get you know a better bike towards the midpoint you know end of the season so then hopefully we can move on to a better bike but look at this I don't, how what am i supposed to do i'm just pressing accelerate i can't do anything else straight line speed is bad though Can't be sneaky and try and get down the inside there, but that wasn't going to work out. Maybe it is. We're going to look at the inside of Nakagami and Tyrol. It's not going to work out. We're just going to drift wide. 
Then a slow mid corner, we're going to go through the middle of the bit of grass there, so we're going to have to break it a little bit earlier through here, and it's exactly what we've done. Back, the bike sliding out, there's no grip on the rear tyre, and the Nakagami has got back through. We're going to go to the inside here. Messed that up. We're going to have to sort of straight line this a bit over the curbing. Nakagami's back past to roll now on the attack. Down to 8th, 7th, 8th, 7th. Very close. Onto the grass to roll, not giving us much space. Now we're going side by side with Nakagami. We're going to get Nakagami, but we're going to run wide. No! 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 No. Oh, really? Really? Well, the podium finishers make their way to Park Fermi. Let's have a look at the final standings. Nakagami. We're tempted in the championship now. This is just not going well. Wow. It's going so well. It's a massive mistake there. But, um, I guess, guys, hopefully, you enjoyed that video. I am trying to not crash, but just. I haven't got, as I said, I haven't actually been on this game for quite a bit quite a few weeks so I'm sorry about that I'm trying to get used to it as I'm going to be recording quite a lot of episodes in the next couple of days I will be uh, obviously hopefully getting better so yeah thanks for watching guys hopefully you enjoyed it's been Alex Maddy goodbye